Karen Weaver making it official today. She is running for mayor once again. This is a story we first broke on Thursday when Weaver told anchor Mike Woolfolk she was running. Former Mayor Weaver made the announcement this afternoon at Vernon Chapel AME Church. She was surrounded by supporters from throughout the community. As she talked about her previous term as mayor, saying she never faltered addressing the needs of the Flint citizens and leading them through the water crisis. Now, during her interview with Mike Woolfolk, she criticized the current administration and their handling of the COVID-19 relief money and what she calls a spike in violent crime. We talked to the former mayor after the event today, looking back at her term, and she told us what she will do different this time if she gets back in office. Away, you, you, you meet new people, you look at things differently, and, and um, you say, all right, I'll, I'll do some of these things differently. I'll tell you one thing I, I would have done differently already was I would have spent some of that money that had come from the federal government. Uh, I would not wait to address uh, public safety and blight. I would have done that differently for sure. And some of that money would be gone because I'm trying to figure out how many people have to get shot and killed and be scared to come out. Now, responding to news that Weaver will be entering the race, current Mayor Sheldon Neely says he is, quote, leading with dignity and integrity, well-setting structure and strong process. He goes on to say the focus is on vision, not vengeance, as we are one Flint. You're going to seek office again. That's right. When you ran the first time, uh, I, I would imagine you were kind of a political newcomer. Um, and you were doing it in response to everything that was happening in your city with the, the water crisis and how you, you felt, rightly so, I think right. most people would argue, that the city was being mistreated. And you won. This time around, why do you want to come back? When I ran the first time, it was I wanted to run to make a difference. That You know, we needed somebody to speak up and speak out on behalf of what was happening in Flint, which was the water crisis. And when I look now, I, I believe the same thing. You know, I'm running to make a difference. But I also believe that and know we need a voice and we need some leadership. And the things that I see, I don't like. Now, when you say there are things that you see now that you, mm -hmm. that you don't like and that others don't like, what are some of those things? Well, we can start with crime. We can start with crime. Uh, you know, we want to feel safe. People want to feel safe. People deserve to feel safe in their city, in their neighborhoods. And that was one of the things we had been working on and addressing crime, and crime was going down. The FBI crime report for 2019, Weaver's last year in office, backs up her claim, showing violent crime was down 26%, property crime down 23% compared to the previous year. This past year, under the current administration, city statistics show both categories also down compared to 2020, but there were a record 59 homicides. And so that's a huge concern and it's a priority. You can look at blight. You know, people want a clean city and people deserve a clean city and that's an issue. Just the fact that the pipes haven't finished being changed, that's, that's, a, that's a problem to me. Weaver launched the Fast Start Pipe Replacement Initiative in February 2016 to replace all lead water lines going into Flint homes. With state and federal funding, the program was progressing over the next three years. We had been lauded for being the fastest pipe replacement program in the country. But Fast Start has faced numerous hurdles and delays since, including issues that arose when Weaver demanded the contractors stop using a faster, less expensive hydrovac system to dig and switch to actually shoveling, adding time, requiring more manpower, and costing a lot more. Still, the former mayor says the project was ahead of schedule. So you would think that it would be done by now. Mike's conversation with the mayor also covers what she feels went wrong in her first re-election campaign, the all-important but often tense relationship between the mayor's office and city council, and whether she will make immediate personnel changes in key departments should she win. City council again pushed back a resolution to give $60,000 to the North Flint food market. Now this has caused quite a bit of arguments in the past. Now originally the conflict was whether or not the resolution would hold any weight since it didn't follow the normal process according to mayor and the city charter. Now Monday night things got so heated on this topic. City council president Eric Mays had two elected members of council removed from that meeting. Another issue is Mayor Neely says council does not have the power to make this resolution 
involving city finances and money. However, May says that isn't true. He stated in the city charter 3-301, the charter reads in part, an ordinance with state law and this charter ordinances shall be enacted to provide a permanent rule for the conduct of government, end quote. Now, Mayor Neely released a statement to us earlier today, today saying in part, we must keep a fair, equitable, and accessible process in place that creates opportunities for all residents to be heard before any funding requests are granted. And he went on to say the administration will remain committed to working with the city council to ensure all ARPA funds reach the residents of the Flint community. Now, again, council did vote to push this back into next Wednesday, which is their finance committee. They say they're also looking for more finances, a more detailed finance report from the North Flint food market before they make any decisions. Live outside City Hall, Alexis Ware, Michigan Now.